Thank you. Let's. Uh, I, um, thank you so much for that kind introduction. I think we should give it up again for the CEO of Starbucks, who has established a culture. Has established a a culture of service within his organization that is doing so much good for America and globally. Let's, one more round of applause. That was just amazing. So thank you. Uh, on behalf of the Board of Points of Light, I'd like to offer another warm welcome to this Service Unite Summit and to the great city of Seattle, where we have gathered to spark new ideas, to forge new partnerships, and to shatter expectations about how to solve tough social problems all over the world. This summit takes place as our nation seems on the verge of being torn apart with the political vitriol in Washington, with the politics of bullying and name calling, politics defined by more by what we are against than what we are for, and with the deep divisions around race and class. But it is wrong to think that differences inevitably lead to divisions. At this summit, we celebrate our differences. The differences of race, gender, sexual orientation, income, religion, age, geography, and yes, politics. It is, <laughs> it is because of these, not in spite of these differences, that we have come together, united by our faith in our common humanity, our belief that change is possible, and our passion for achieving that change in service to others. We unite around service to lift individuals to realize their fullest potential, to strengthen families, and to build healthy, safe, and prosperous communities. We unite around service to discover the light in, the, in one another and the light in ourselves. We unite around service to support children who are learning uh, how to succeed in life with the help of a volunteer mentor, to support adults who are moving from the streets into their first homes thanks to community nonprofits, to support the former opioid users who are starting new lives thanks to faith-based organizations. This conference is where we can have important conversations, connecting, listening, and collaborating. This conference is where leaders from business, nonprofits, and government come to build and lead a more powerful, more vibrant volunteer sector and to drive the voluntary service movement. Nearly 30 years ago, my dad started evoking the image of a thousand points of light in a broad and peaceful sky. He observed that for every problem in America and around the world, there are solutions playing out in communities all across this land by the thousands of nonprofit organizations powered by millions of volunteers. He frequently hearkened back to what the French diplomat, writer, the writer Alexis de Tocqueville observed about America in his early days. And in my father's words, he said, de Tocqueville envisioned a future that would open before us. Its possibilities were infinite because of, of America's new model, a democracy based on a free market unleashing the full energy of the human heart and mind, a model which, which rejects the view that progress is measured in money spent and bureaucracies built. One thing, <laughs> one thing this conference proves is that most, the most effective change does not come from the top down. It comes from the bottom up. And to this point, my father said, there is a role, a critical role for government in finding solutions. But we know government doesn't always have the answers. If we could eliminate these problems, solve them once and for all with more programs, more bureaucracy, these programs would have disappeared a long time ago. The fact is government isn't the only organized entity out there with the power to change things, the power to make a difference. Today, Dad's observations are even more compelling. Given the nearly $20 trillion in debt, our government increasingly lacks the capacity to address our, our serious social needs. Social programs are being cut. Let me be clear, we 100% support the Corporation for Community and National Service, AmeriCorps VISA, AmeriCorps, AmeriCorps VISA, Teach for America.
I can't, I can't wait. Can't wait to get to the end of my speech because I've got a task for you guys. <laughs> this is going to be really fun. <laughs> uh, we 100% the national service movement, but we must recognize there are limits to what the federal government can do. As one woman in a Points of Light focus group said, government can be too busy with politics, paperwork, etc. Locally, we can give a pulse to what is needed, what is working, and what isn't. Citizens need to get involved and to be, to be part of the solution. We are united in the belief that every citizen has a role to serve and that coming together to do so is a patriotic act. In October 2009, marking the 20th anniversary of Points of Light, President Barack Obama expressed this idea so beautifully, saying, in the end, service binds us to each other and to our communities and our country in a way that nothing else can. That's how we become more fully American. That's what it means to be American. It's always been the case in this country, that notion that we invest ourselves, our time, our energy, our vision, our purpose into the very fabric of this nation. This is the essence of our liberty that we give back freely. What beautiful words. This idea that volunteerism is the essence of our liberty is so simple and pr profound. Each of us is at liberty to take action in, in, in what we believe is necessary. Each of us is free to voluntarily do that. What the Tocqueville, my father, and President Obama all zeroed in on is that voluntary service and liberty are two sides of the same coin. They are essential components of the American character. The great news is this uniquely American culture of service is spreading globally, worldwide. This conference is a shining beacon of what can be achieved when we harness the power of citizens, nonprofits, community organizations, and faith groups, businesses, and government who must work together for the common good. I love the song from Hamilton, Rise Up. We owe it to ourselves and the people we serve. We owe it to communities we live in and the nation we love. We owe it to the next generation who follow us to light a fire under our democracy, to inspire, equip, and mobilize more people to rise up. We are taught to love thy neighbor, but we must reach out with our neighbors to the strangers among us. Our mission will not be complete until the culture of service touches every family, every company, every faith organization, every university, every grade school in America. Our mission will not be complete until our nation's and our world's most pressing problems are solved through the selfless commitment of millions of points of light who give of themselves to leave the world a better place. God bless you. Have a great conference, and thank you for being leaders in this transformative global service movement. <laughs>